Hello friends, today's video is all about how to decorate your house on Halloween. This is my Halloween special video. First, put something scary on your front door to make, the, to make it very scary when you're entering the house. Look, I have that over here. Of course, you can put anything, but I decided to make a vampire and I made this. See my video about how to make these jack o lanterns Now, when entering your house, think of the perfect hall and medium. It needs to be light, but not too light. It needs to be scary. And remember, you should put your house and decoration in perfect places. Like this. Could you think of any more perfect place to put this? No, I'm pretty sure you couldn't. Now, I have also made a ginormous monster over here. In my Halloween party, of course, you don't need to make a monster, but it will be way more scary if you do. And, you know, one thing that we really need? Spiders hanging from the windowsill to make the people who are invited to your Halloween party scream in fright when the spider touches their head. It's okay if it even isn't low enough to touch the head at least they will see it better than the spiders on the wall and that are over there i have put up light because you know why if everything if everything is dark nobody will be able to see all the spookiness now come on we're going to move on to the place that i've decorated the most my living room over there you can see a wall where I've stuck paper ghosts. These ghosts give off a spooky feeling, don't they? Next, I've also made another type of ghost which I put light on. Of course, it might be tough to put the light like this, but when you do, let me tell you, they give you such a fright. Next, if you can, buy a spider web from the store. But if you want to make your own, then you can make your own. Of course, I do not have a video about this, but you can do it by yourself. Then I made a spider, which I put away there. Next, I have put more of those jack-o'-lanterns, which you must see the video about, over here. And I put these faces with witch hats, which are going to make my Halloween the scare, my Halloween party the scariest that has ever been. Now come on, let's move on to the to the restaurant. Of course, people at the Halloween party will be very hungry. So give a good creative day to your restaurant with mine, the Vampire Cafe. Of course, you don't need to name it the Vampire Cafe, but it's a good name, don't you think so? Next, I will show you my doorway where I have tiny bats on top of it. Cool, right? And I also hung tight jack o' lantern over here that I got from the store. And right here, I hung bats on top of these lights, which I just had gotten by chance. But you, if you don't have these lights, don't worry, you can hang them somewhere else, can't you? And over here, I have made a danger sign. Danger. This place is haunted. And I have a banner that I got in. But the most spookiest thing is this snake poster over there, which I'm not going to go too close to because I am super scared of it. And if, of course, you can make any monster, but I made mean, snake poster super scary, and I'm so scared right now, I'm not going to go close to it. But wait, something is missing. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, wait. Oh, now I know what's missing. show you my spiders. Come on, let's see it. I have made tiny spiders like the one you saw in the web. And, of, and they all are the same, but of course, you can make different types of spiders. Wait, there's one last thing I'm forgetting. Oh yeah! Always remember to have some spooky music for your Halloween party. I can't do this one. You don't need to have the same one, but remember to make it, remember to pick one that will make the guests scream in fright. 